Hey, what's going on Star Wars fans? You're watching The Collector's Hut. My name is Chris. I'm back again with another Star Wars The Force Awakens action figure review. We have the Walmart exclusive Kylo Ren Wave 2 3 and 3 quarters action figure. This is awesome. The articulation is great. And uh, we'll get right into this review and we'll start off with the package. So the package is really cool. It's just a smaller version from the regular Black Series. You can take the figure out, put them right back in. It looks awesome. Obviously on the back you have a description and a really cool picture of Kylo followed by the Disney and Hasbro logo. So I think they did a great job with this and uh, let's get right to the figure. Now I am a huge fan of three and three quarters action figures. That's what I was brought up on. And uh, I love this figure, and I love that it's like fully articulated. So this is how I'm going to be displaying him because he looks so cool that way. I mean, it just looks so great. All right, we'll get into all the articulation. So his arm goes at a 90 degree angle, and it goes up and down, obviously, and his elbows do bend and swivel, which is a great feature, and his hand does turn at a 360. Now it's the same deal with the other side, you just have a little restriction because of the cape slash hood. It's a hard material, so the arm won't go up all the way but still looks amazing. The head doesn't move too much because of the restriction, but I don't think you really need to move his head around too much. His waist does swivel. And I like the fact that they use soft goods for the cape on the bottom. I think that's really cool. And there is a ton of movement in the legs. So the legs are on a ball joint. The knees do bend, and the foot, not too much movement, just side to side, but the knees bend a good amount, so you can really pose him in a lot of different ways, but I'm totally going to be sticking to the original pose that I had him in. Now, he does come with two lightsabers. He comes with the one that you're seeing now and, the, and just the handle. It's not ignited. And the paintwork on it is pretty damn cool. Now, there is a peg on there to hook it on his belt. That little peg right there. And there's a little slot right there. But I'm having a very hard time making it stay. Um, I don't know if the, the little notch is not deep enough. I might have to glue it. I'm not sure, but it is not staying for me. Um, let me know if you guys are having trouble with that. Just curious. But uh, like I said, anyway, I'm probably going to be posing them more than likely just like this because it looks amazing. So, like I said, the attention to detail is really nice. I can't wait for them to stop making these figures with the helmet removable. I think that will be really nice, and I know they're on the way. I did a review for the Disney Elite series, um, the Kylo Unmasked figure, and it's great. And uh, I can't wait to see more. So I'm sure we're going to be getting it in the three and three quarters soon enough. Alright guys. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. Please let me know what you think about this figure. 
Um, I hope you really enjoyed it. Please subscribe, comment, and share. I love hearing from you guys. You can find all my information at thecollectorshut.com. And uh, I have a ton of stuff on the way. Make sure you stay tuned, and thank you so much. May the force be with you, and I'll see you soon.